So, I was going through the comments on my last video and this one really caught my eye. It said, WAN 2.2 text to image is amazing, give it a shot. That way everything is done with WAN 2.2 and is commercial use friendly. Also, removing speed loris from high pass and only adding it to low pass increases the dynamic movement. I decided to take a look and, wow, I was genuinely surprised by the results. It seems like Alibaba is just on a roll this year, releasing models that do whatever they feel like doing. Today, we're going to be looking at one such model and also see how it stands up against Flux Crea. I want to demystify a couple of things here. And one of them is to see if this model is really as good as everyone is saying at image creation. Or if we're all just getting excited about something new and different again. Welcome back to Sneaky Robot. Here's today's workflow. I have two different workflows for the text 2 image generation. One is your basic comfy UI image generation setup, just with a few extra nodes. The other one uses the clown shark nodes. Plus, we'll be using the Q4 version of the low noise WAN 2.2 model. I also found a checkpoint merge on Civit AI by Jibmix. We'll compare all of these against the Flux Crea model. Let's start by setting up the workflows. The first one is a bit easier since most of the nodes are native to Comfy UI. We still need at least two node packs. KJ nodes by Kijai and the RG3 nodes. I'll restart Comfy and it seems like I forgot about the GGUF nodes. Let's quickly get those. I'll grab the ones by City96. Install them and restart Comfy again. Okay, so the first node we need is the UNet loader. This is specifically for the low noise model. Next is the GGUF dual clip loader. The power LoRa loader. And the VAE. Then, we need the clip text encode nodes for both the positive and negative prompts. After that, we have the K-Sampler, a VAE decode, and finally the Save Image node. We also need a Model Sampling SD3 node and an Empty Latent node. For the Latent, we can use the Hunyuan Latent Video node, just make sure the length is set to 1. Now for the connections. The UNet model loader is ported to the Power LoRa loader. From the Power LoRa, it goes to the model sampler SD3 and from there into the K sampler. The dual clip loader is ported to the Power LoRa and from the Power LoRa, it goes to both of our clip text encode nodes. I'm changing the color for the positive text encode to green and the negative to red. From here, I'm connecting the positive and negative outputs to the K sampler. As for the empty latent, this connects to the K sampler's latent image input. The latent output from the sampler goes to the VAE decode and the VAE decode is then connected to the save image node. We also need to connect our main VAE to the VAE decode node. Now, we could be done with this as it is, but there are a few more things you can do with this. For starters, we can speed this up and make sure that prompt adherence is set to its absolute maximum. To do this, we need three nodes, and these are already available in the packages we installed. The first is the Patch Sage Attention plus the Model Patch node by Kijai. I'm going to enable FP16 Accumulation. The model will now be connected to the Patch Sage Attention node. The Sage Attention node is then connected to the Model Patch Torch Settings node, and that is now ported to the model input of the Power LoRa loader. I'm putting Sage Attention on auto for now. Here's a quick tip. If you do not have Sage Attention installed on your system, you can either bypass this step 
or just select the two nodes and click on that little bypass button. The next enhancement node is the WAN Video NAG node, in the simplest terms. This node basically bakes the negative prompts into the model, dramatically increasing prompt adherence. We'll have to connect the model from the Power LoRa loader to the WAN Video NAG node and from the NAG node to the Model Sampling SD3 node. Then, connect the negative prompts conditioning to the WAN Video NAG node. And that's basically it. You've got yourself a WAN 2.2 text to image workflow. Quick note. Some people have found that connecting the NAG node to the positive prompt also gives amazing results, which would mean that this node basically just bakes in whichever text encode node is connected to it. All that's left now is to link the models to their nodes, add the positive and negative prompts, and Bob's your uncle. I'll start with the UNet loader. I'm using the Q4 model. And for the dual clip loader, I'm using the VIT L14 clip model and the T5XXL Q5 model. As for the LoRa's, I have three of them, the two new high noise and low noise LoRa's and the Light X2V text to video LoRa. I haven't tested the high and low noise LoRa's yet, but the Hugging Face page says that you can get good results with only four steps. So let me start with them. I'm going to use the low noise LoRa since I'm using the low noise model for the image generation. And finally, the VAE is still the WAN 2.1 VAE. As for the positive prompt, I'm going to go with one I found online. You can pause and read it if you want to. I just hope it translates well in Flux Crea 2. For the negative prompt, I'm using the original WAN 2.2 negative prompt. Let's test out the four steps. I'll change the CFG to 1, and I immediately get an error. I used the wrong clip models. Sorry about that. I was supposed to use the single clip loader with the UMT5 model. Let me just correct that. I'll remove the dual clip loader. Add the single clip loader, change the type to WAN, and port it to the Power LoRa loader. I'm also changing the width and height to 1920 by 1080. Let's try again. And, nope, the low noise LoRa doesn't do it. Let's try with the Litex 2V LoRa first at six steps. This is way better. Let me try another prompt. This time, I'm adding a film grain node to see how the image will come out. The name of the node pack is VR Girl Dev Enhancement Nodes. I'll first install it and restart Comfy. I'm adding it between the VAE decode and the Save Image node. OK, let's see what we get. The film grain is a bit much but the images are beautiful. So there's one more way you can create this workflow, and that's by using the Clown Shark K Sampler by res life I'm simply looking for res life and installing that node pack. Let me restart Comfy again. So let me just make a duplicate of the workflow we just created and make a few changes. I'm adding the Clown Shark Sampler. I'll connect the model from the model sampling node to the new sampler's model input. I'm also doing the same with the positive, negative, and the empty latent. Note that you can use the default empty latent in Comfy UI or even the Flux Resolution Calculator. It doesn't necessarily have to be the Hunyuan latent video node. You can now delete the old K sampler. I'll first try it like this before I add more to it. The steps will be six. The sampler is res 3s. The scheduler is bong tangent and the CFG is at 1. Same prompt. And it's still beautiful. You can reduce the grain saturation if it's too much. You can also add options to increase the quality of the output. I'll first add the sharpen options node and connect it to options. And then add the clown options detail boost node. The first node adds noise, while the second option node adds detail. 
I'll disable the film grain node. Let's see what we get. So far, I'm impressed. Really, when it comes to realism, it's crazy good. Proportions look good. Colors are natural. Okay, one last thing before we start testing. You can, if you have the time, go an extra mile and upscale the image you created. Not a really heavy upscale, but something lighter. To do this, I'll just duplicate the sampler. Add an upscale latent by node. Connect the first sampler's latent to the upscale node, and then port the upscale node to the latent input of the second sampler. I'm adding a VAE decode tiled node because the upscaled image is going to be a bit larger. And I'm setting the tile size to 256, overlap and temporal size to 32, and the temporal overlap to 4. I'll connect this to another save image node. The model goes to the model. The positive and negative are connected to the sampler, and the options are connected to the upscale sampler. Also, make sure the VAE is connected to the VAE decode tiled node. I'll be changing the steps to 10 and the denoise to 0 0.60. Let's see what we get. The initial image looks great, and the upscale also looks good. There's a bit more detail. Maybe just reduce the size of the empty latent so as not to blow your system up when doing a high res fix. Okay, let's start with the test. I'm quickly setting up Flux Crea. So, what we'll be testing are three models the Low Noise WAN 2.2, the WAN 2.2 merge model from Jib Mix WAN, and Flux Crea. What we're looking at is first, photorealism. Second, the ability to generate legible text, and lastly, artistic styles. Here are the results for photorealism. WAN 2.2 Low Noise with the Light X2V LoRa, Flux Crea, and WAN 2.2 Mixed Model. It kind of feels like the mixed model has that whole plastic face thing of Flux Dev, but it still looks good. Next, let's see how it handles text. The steps are still the same. Again, WAN 2.2 Low Noise and Flux Crea looks good, but the WAN 2.2 Merged Model, not so much. And finally, Art Style. I'm going with Pixar for this. Again, WAN 2.2 Low Noise looks amazing. Flux Crea seems to be struggling a bit when it comes to art styles, and it's the same with WAN 2.2 Mixed. So it seems like the hype is true. WAN 2.2 makes great images. I haven't tried image to image, but as far as text to image goes, it's up there with the best, and might even be the best. I'll be incorporating it with the Cinema Suite, it just makes more sense now. Okay, let's quickly look at how you get the models. The links for the WAN 2.2 low noise model are in the description below. You can use either the Safe Tensors or the GGUF version. Download them and place the Safe Tensors version in the Models Diffusion Models folder and the GGUF version in the Models UNet folder as well. As for the Flux Crea model, put that in the UNet folder and the WAN 2.2 Mix model in the Models Diffusion Models folder. The text encoders are the UMT5, T5 models and the Clip L models. Download those and place them in the Models Text Encoders folder. For the VAE, download the WAN 2.1 VAE and the Flux VAE, and place those in the Models VAE folder. As for the Light X2V LoRa, download it and place it in the Models LoRa's folder. That's it. You can drag the workflow into the workspace. If you have nodes missing, then open the manager and select Install Missing Nodes. Install the nodes. Restart Comfy and that's it, you're good to go. So what do I think about using WAN 2.2 as an image generator? Well, it's going to be my go-to from now on. I thought it wasn't going to be this good, but it actually is. As for the WAN 2.2 merged model, this one has the model already merged in with it and is supposed to do 2 to 8 steps perfectly, but it's not really that good. It starts shining at 8 steps. And Flux Crea. What can I say? It's crazy good at photorealism, but struggles a bit with art styles. Okay, so that was all for today. 
Like and subscribe for more AI videos, your support means a lot to me. This is the Sneaky Robot. Till next time, bye.